Visitors to Ghost Ranch are greeted by this sign of welcome. The skull logo was designed by Georgia O'Keeffe, the famous artist. Ghost legends have always been common here. The 1947 discovery of many 200 million year old Coelophysis fossils made Ghost Ranch world famous. This is a life-size model of a Coelophysis dinosaur. Its arms could easily grasp prey. The Coelophysis was an efficient predator. The concave shape of the skull in front of the eyes allowed the Coelophysis to have stereoscopic vision. The Denver Museum of Nature and Science has two mounted Ghost Ranch Coelophysis skeletons on display. It was in this Ghost Ranch hillside that Edwin Colbert and George Whitaker discovered the famous Coelophysis quarry. The best Ghost Ranch Coelophysis specimens were shipped to New York's American Museum of Natural History by 1948. AMNH 7223 and 7224 have been one of the museum's key exhibits since that time. A closer look at the rib cage of one of these two dinosaurs reveals what may have been its last meal. This block from the Ghost Ranch Quarry went to the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science. One can see many specimens that have been exposed in relief. These specimens include a nearly articulated Coelophysis skeleton, complete with its sclerotic ring. One of the most interesting features that's, that's come from this block is this ring of bones in the eye of this little dinosaur. It's a complete sclerotic ring. It's a ring of bones that's actually in the eyeball, and it surrounds the cornea, which is the clear part of the eye that you see through, and it reinforces the eye against changes in shape. So the shape of the eye and the shape of the lens controls how acute vision is and what the characters of vision will be for that animal. But we compared this sclerotic ring here in Coelophysis to about 35 different reptiles and birds. And we found that the closest match was the eyes of hawks and eagles. There are also some other conclusions you can make. Coelophysis had large eyes, and that indicates that its eyes were important. We, we think that it was a visually oriented predator. We also noticed that this bone right here in front of the eye bows inward, and this bone here along the side of the nose bows inward. And that creates a groove right here in the cheek of the animal. That creates a groove that allows the visual fields from the left and right eyes to overlap. And that would give the animal the possibility of stereo vision. Coelophysis was not a very large animal, and it was in an environment that contained very large predators. It was not the top predator at all. And so it's hard to imagine that it would have sacrificed peripheral vision, which might alert to a predator to gain stereo vision unless it were really using stereo vision. So we the Coelophysis was built for running and capturing prey. If you look at the hind leg of Coelophysis, you will see that it has almost every adaptation that can be made to a leg and foot to make the animal a good runner. The femur, the thigh bone, is relatively short compared to the total length of the leg. The foot is very long, and the toes are reduced to three from five. There actually are 
five toes on a photosilophysis, but only three contact the ground. So it runs entirely on its toes. The foot of the animal never really touches the ground. So these are all adaptations of fast runners. This is very much like the leg of the horse. The caudal or tail vertebrae are still connected to the animal. A large coelophysis snout and some jaws are also present in the matrix. These are the partial remains of the largest coelophysis found in the block. The fossil block from the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science was one of a number of blocks removed from the Ghost Ranch Quarry when it was reopened in the 1980s. Ghost Ranch has its own small paleontology museum and laboratory. The museum was literally built around the last block, Block 28, excavated from the nearby quarry. Alex Downs, the curator of the Ghost Ranch Paleontology Museum, discusses the block. Once they got the burlap and plaster on the roofs of the tunnels, they put big wooden beams through them, and then they could cut away the rest of the rock and just wrap it up as they went, and then they lifted it up, put it on a truck, and brought it down here. And it was set here before they built the building. That's how they got through the block. See this? This was the mud that covered them here. And see this guy going along here? And then right there's where it crosses, and I didn't even prep this out, but this is his neck and his head came back down, but they have their mouths closed and they have their little gastral ribs. I mean, the little crocodile from here actually has his eyelid bones in place. And living crocs have bones in their eyelids, and it's never been seen in a fossil croc that we had this guy who's right at the base of crocs. In other words, normally the pterodactyls peck their eyes out and move those little bones. But here they were, they're in really good shape, and they have their mouths closed. Oh, this is where it came from. Oh, it's called the Coelophysis quarry. Yeah, Coelophysis is spelled right in back here. C O E L O P H Y S I S. It's a really weird word. <laughs> this block, now in the Ghost Ranch Paleontology Lab, contains at least five Coelophysis skulls. The teeth in a Coelophysis skull show up clearly in the upper. This is a top view of another coelophysis skull embedded in the same block. More coelophysis skulls are visible here. Some of the ancient animals that shared the environment of Ghost Ranch with coelophysis definitely lived up to the dragon and ghost legends of the area. This dragon-like creature found at Ghost Ranch is called a Van Clevia. It was a reptile, but not a dinosaur. Alex Downs discusses a Van Clevia skull identified on Ghost Ranch property. Well, there he is, and it is missing the big fang in the lower jaw that goes in the notch right there, but you know, once you get to be over 200 million years old, you're usually missing some of your teeth. The Van Clevia was covered with scale-like armor. The large flat tail of Van Clevia made it a very efficient swimmer. This Van Clevia specimen is frequently examined by students. So these are foot bones, these are leg bones here. This is a sit bone. So this animal is not grown. And that's very common on vertebrate fossils. You know, being wild animals, they die before they grow up. We have a second one of these that has pathologies. It's got a bite on its lower jaw. We just have parts of the skull and, and a tooth even stuck right in it. And mo like most Tyrannosaurus skulls have bites on them. So we assume that they are fighting among themselves. It's the Ghost Ranch Museum includes this skull of a phytosaur. Phytosaurs, rather than the Coelophysis, were the dominant predators of the Triassic period at Ghost Ranch. Some of the best preserved phytosaur skulls can be seen in this Triassic exhibit at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science. 
Phytosaurs look something like crocodiles, but can be easily distinguished from them by the location of their nostrils. A crocodile's nostrils are located near the end of their snouts, but a phytosaur's nostrils were located near their eye sockets and give the appearance of a volcano. Phytosaurs could reach a length of over 30 feet. Another contemporary of Coelophysis was the Typothorax. It resembled a combination of a pig and an armadillo. But anyway, this was collected as being Typothorax forelimb and um, shoulder blade. Alex Downs discusses a recently prepared specimen of typothorax. Uh, hand bones and stuff in here, but as I said, there's no skull described of typothorax, but note the teeth right here. This is a maxilla. This is this bone right here. This is the premaxilla. So this is the nostril. This is the nasal. So this is the top border of the nostril. This is lower jaw here. This may be a cranial bone here, too. We got the segment in between it. There may be more in there, too, but we've at least got some of the skull of a type of thorax in here. What is that piece on the far right closest to you? It's armor. That's what I thought. This is yeah. dorsal armor on its back, and this is ventral armor from its belly. And you can see there's a lot of vertebrae in here, yeah. too, um, from its neck. Scientific research has given us a glimpse into what the late Triassic was like at Ghost Ranch in New Mexico. The Ghost Ranch Quarry is now a national natural landmark and the Coelophysis is the New Mexico state fossil.